AG Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So this episode with this cool, um, this is right here in my hand, and basically what this is, is a shower curtain or a shower curtain liner, which is pretty awesome. And the cool thing about this product is the fact that it is waterproof as well, so you don't have to worry about the water sticking onto your uh, shower curtain. It actually will slide off pretty easily. If you see in the package right here, they tell you guys some of the benefits or specs that's on here as well. And if we turn to the back side right here, it tell you guys how to use it before and after, you can see right here. So they mentioned how you should not use a machine to wash it, do not bleach, do not iron, do not dry clean, and do not tumble dry. Basically, when you guys are done using the product, you guys can just open up the uh, shower curtain and just let it air dry by itself. But definitely before you guys use it, they mentioned that you should use warm water to wash off any of like, the corn flour that's on the curtain. That way you guys have a brand new fresh curtain to use. And they also mentioned how the product might have a vinegar-like smell when you guys use it. But if you guys use warm water to clean it, within two days, it should be gone. But that is basically everything that's on the product right here. Let's open up to show you guys what's included inside first. All right, so we guys first open up. That's what looks like inside. Let's take it out. Then see it all nicely folded up. You can definitely see that it is a all clear design. Let me actually stand up and give you guys a better view of the product. All right, so I have it right here. If you open it up. This is basically what the product looks like, if you can see. So the top part, they definitely have the ring option. So you guys want to hook it into the actual ring right here, or the little hold right here. But definitely throughout the product, if you can see it is a all clear design. They do have some that is not all clear design, so you definitely want to do your own research to see which one's best for yourself. And we flip it to the other side. If you flip it to the other side right here, you guys can see they have some kind of like magnet or something that's heavy. So that way you can actually hold the curtain down and you don't have to worry about the curtain flying up anytime soon. So there's one right here, there's one right here, and there's also one right here as well. So there's a total of three of them that can hold the bottom of the shower curtain to prevent it from flying all over the place. But this is basically what the product looks like once you guys open it up. And one thing to note is that for this product, they don't provide you guys any like hooks or anything. So you definitely need to use your own one. And I have my own one, so I'll show you guys how to set it up. So let me actually bring this over to the rest and show you guys how to set this up and then we'll come back and talk more about that in a second so you guys can see this is basically what it looks like right now for what i am using right now so these are the clip on ones so i'm gonna start a new one and show you guys what it actually looks like so we have these hooks right here so all you guys want to do is go like this and you guys can snap it in so that way it won't fall out as easy so the way how you guys know which side to put it on is like this if you guys can feel it then that means it's on the other side so right here if you guys can feel it right here that is the inside so you want to go like this so all you guys need to do is hook it on, just like that, and that's how you guys set that up. Same thing for other ones as well. So this is the reason why it's probably better for you guys to put it on here first, so that way you guys don't have to worry about it coming out as easy. Alright, so those are 12 of them. Let's hook all of it on. All right, so you can see that once we have it fully installed, this is basically what it looks like. So you can definitely see that we hooked it on one side, but if you guys want to hook the other side, you can definitely do that as well. So what I'm doing right now is to hook the other side right here using the shower curtain and show you guys what it actually looks like. So I'm going to push this inside first. And you see the bottom part right here, we have the magnet that will actually hold onto the bottom of the bathtub, just like this. You can see, it's sticked on. So what I want to do now is to take off this part right here and put it on here to show you guys what it actually looks like when you guys use it. All right, so this is basically what the product looks like once you guys fully install it. So I flip it the other way and see a different point of view of the product. If you can see the magnet right there, right there, and right there, that will stick onto the bathtub. Let me show you guys what I mean. So let's pull this over here. So you can see that it sticks on right there because of the magnet. Then we just pull it away. It just goes away. But basically what I'm gonna do right now is to do a quick waterproof test to show you guys whether or not it's actually waterproof first. So let's do that first. So when you guys first use it like I recommend, you should definitely use some hot water, warm water to like rinse it off. So that way the product can be clean first. All right, we got some warm water. So the product definitely does work. And if you guys are wondering when to actually get this and whether or not you guys actually need it or not, people usually need these if you guys have like the shower curtain that is not waterproof. So for me, I don't really need this because my shower curtain it is waterproof, but I'm just gonna have it on because it actually looks nice. And that way I can actually keep the water on here instead of the shower curtain. And that way I can actually prolong the life of the shower curtain. But this is basically what the overall product looks like. If you didn't see, works really, really well. Super easy to use. So when you guys are done using the shower curtain, what you guys wanna do is just pull it open like this and let it air dry because if you guys clamp it up together like this it won't dry as fast so you definitely want to open it up and let it air dry 
just like that. I will come back guys. So now you guys saw the quick test, I'll show by myself, you can definitely see that it is pretty easy to set up. And if you guys want to move it, you can definitely move it really easily as well, if you guys use the correct kind of like hook. But in terms of the question of whether or not you guys actually need a uh, shower liner, if you guys already have a shower curtain, it's not required for you guys to get a shower liner. If you guys already have like a high quality shower curtain, then you guys are fine. But if you guys want to maintain that shower curtain and don't want to get it wet or dirty, then you guys can definitely get one of these shower curtains or any kind of shower curtain liners in general. So pretty much to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not, it really depends on your situation and your preference of whether or not you guys want one or not. Just like what I mentioned earlier, if you guys don't want to get the shower curtain wet, then it's definitely super worth it to get one of these, so that way you can actually get this wet instead of the shower curtain. <laughs> but then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have need one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.